Stephen Nelson, this is time for a little bit of retro gaming and this is a little bit of Championship Manager, the old school 96, 97 version is the one that we are playing, it is now the 9th of September 2000, so we've done a, a few seasons so far and I'll show you where I'm up to uh, in a second. But before I do, just a little bit of a, an announcement, we are going to be doing loads more retro gaming. I've got myself a retro pie, so I'll be playing all sorts of games. I'm going to start with the football game, Sensible Soccer, ISS, Kickoff, that sort of thing. But we will move into whatever else they've got as well. I reckon there might be some Mario Kart and stuff like that if everybody likes it. But we will kick off with the football ones, just bringing it back with a retro football game. So for now... A little bit of an update on this, not played it for a while, so I thought I'd just show you guys where I'm up to. Obviously, the squad is sick. I mean, the tactics, look at the tactics there. They're that team, Panucci, Maldini, Jonsson, Deboa, Keane, Simeone have also got Zidane on the bench, Batistuta on the bench, Rio Ferdinand on the bench, Cannavaro on the bench, Laudrup, Cliver, Original, Ronaldo and Ryan Giggs. Hell of a football team. Started this season quite well, must admit. Uh, there we go. Top of the league after a few games. Which is a lot better than we was doing last season. Does it show us where we finished if we go to competition history? This isn't pretty. So, we uh, we got into the Champions League. Um, we won the league a couple of times. We got into the Champions League. But it's not the, the qualification that it used to be if you're new to this. So, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. You've got to win the league to get in the Champions League, essentially. So, we haven't really done a great deal. Um, we did win a couple of competitions, but I am nowhere near where I wanted to be. And league history, we came ninth. So we come fourth, second, third, ninth. Last season was an absolute shocker. Lost loads, drawn loads, just couldn't buy a win. It was awful, in all honesty. This season, we are back on it. Not really made any major signings whatsoever. Cantona's retired. We've, we've lost Cantona. We, got, we had him for longer than we should have had him, really, because we should have only had him for that first season. Um, but we've got a decent side, so uh, I've shown you the tactics there real quick. We'll just dive straight into a match uh, and see how we're getting on. Premier League game, hopefully we can continue uh, this undefeated run that we're on. Nice early goal there. Hopefully we uh, we can go and pick up the league this year because it's just it's a lot more difficult than you expect. It's hard to get runs going. Uh, I think I went nine games without a win uh, during December and January last season on this game, so... It just shows you the sort of the difficulties that you're dealing with. And as I said, I haven't bought anyone this season. This is the side that I was going with. Goals all over the place. Can't find the right formation. Can't find the right system. And I think it's because there's not that many options. Your options are passing direct and long ball. And then you've got the various formations. But it's just so hard. It's, it's really hard to find... A formation that works. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep changing the formation or if I'm supposed to stick with it. Whether rotation or sticking with the same 11 works. I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing. And it's been so long since I played this game as I was a kid. I can't even rely on memory to be like, oh yeah, actually this is how you did it. And it looks like we're going to be drawing this one at the moment, doesn't it? Nope, we're losing it. Bleeding hell. Van der Sar's out injured and we've got Oliver Kahn in there and to be honest, he's not saved a shot yet. I mean, that's just shit, isn't it? <sighs> Abysmal result. Look at me. Look at this. Deep Mahaman absolutely flying. He's not a forward. What we got last season, 20 assists, 27 goals. Unbelievable, 12 man of the matches. There's some absolutely bananas. Sasa Kerchic last season. Let me just show you this, right? How many do you think is like quite a lot of assists? 25, 30? That would be a lot of assists, wouldn't it? How about 51 assists? And to be fair, he's repeated it every single season, hasn't he? I could do with a central midfielder like that. Is he for sale? 4 million. Let's offer him a bumper, 575. I need a midfielder that can create stuff. Sasa Kurcic might be that guy after the season he had last season. 
if I go and look at the transfer market for you, everyone's interested, aren't they? What's the squads like everywhere? Um, from memory, Paul Scholes is at Lazio uh, as a forward because that's what the game thinks he is. Obviously, he was just like coming into the team at this age, wasn't he? And he's not a forward, nor is he doing very well as a forward, neither. Right, so go and have a look at... Uh, so let's go to just foreign-based players. Let's see who the most expensive ones are. So we've got Freddie Bobic at Milan there. That's some hell of a stats he's got. Um, pretty solid stats in his history as well. Uh, Mark Overmars at Ajax in his prime. 2000, he was a nightmare, wasn't he, at Arsenal? Um, maybe he'd be the kind of player that I could do with bringing in. Uh, Janino. Not been so great, in all honesty. He scored a fair few goals. His average rating's a bit poor. Let's have a look at the Barcelona squad. Uh, Bruce Dyer, <laughs> the uncapped Bruce Dyer, is one of the star players of Barcelona. With uh, Abelardo and Bjorklund. It's not the greatest Barcelona side. And Raul. There's a bit of a turn up for the books. Uh, the Real Madrid side. Roberto Carlos, Sama, Erlingmark. Um, Mijatovic, getting on a little bit. Uh, Domingos, no idea who that is. Some guy from Porto that's just not really bagged since he's been at Madrid. Uh, Frank Leboeuf, who's that? Uh, Michael Dubry at Bayern Munich. There's some mental signings. Saul Campbell, Michael Dubry at Bayern Munich. That's a crazy one. Edgar Davids, some solid stats there from Edgar Davids. Uh, Finidi George, yeah. Remember, he was a, a decent old footballer. Dino Baggio, Enrique Chiesa, Enrico Chiesa, uh, Eric Bo Anderson at Ajax, Mike Bosnich is at Parma. So there's quite a few decent footballers kicking about. Ortega, um, did we look at him? I think we looked at him early doors, but this forward right position, there's no use for it. It's, it's a nightmare trying to sign anyone or play anyone in there. And it seems like a lot of the regens come in as forward left or forward right. You just can't do anything with them. So have a look at the domestic based players and let's see what the big ones are. So Deep Mahaman, as you can imagine, six in six. He, he's flying at the moment. He's worth quite a lot. But then it's all Everton, Leeds, and Villa players because they're at the top of the league and they're absolutely smashing it. So if we look at Leeds. De Builder. Gary Kelly. <laughs> they're the star players. And Andy Gray, the star players of the Leeds United side. Um, Aston Villa obviously a man Dwight York still there uh, Gary Neville I sold him then um, some decent footballers in there maybe I could do bring Gary Neville back to be honest because defensively we just don't look at the races at the moment so we we'll see if we can bring in Sasa Kurcic uh, and he'll go in ahead of Simeone uh, Simeone and Zidane I'm, <laughs> I've got Zidane and I can't I can't get it to work with him you think Zidane and Keane would be um, the midfielder dreams, wouldn't you? But no. We try Zidane in there today for this game coming up. It's Coventry away. I'm going to go with Batistuta and Ronaldo up front. Giggs and Laudrup. Laudrup, obviously, he's always there with the assists. Hell of a footballer. Ryan Giggs. No assists from Giggs here. Uh, do I need to look at the positioning maybe of Giggs? I think that's about as good as we can go for in terms of a lineup. Is Cannavaro better than Ronnie Johnson? I don't think so. Uh, Maldini now starting to get into the sort of age, especially around this time where you didn't see players really take it that long into their careers. So I think I need a replacement for Maldini soon. I mean, he's been an absolute beast of a player. I mean, obviously the first season we signed him, 8.15 average rating. And then it slowly dipped, although this season he's flying high again. Uh, his form's decreased every single season, but what a player, what a signing. Uh, obviously, we, we want to keep him around as long as he's useful. And, uh, and he's, let's face it, he's useful. Just right now, he's useful. He's, he's one of the best players that we've got, so we want to keep that definitely. Oh, Kerchich, don't fancy it. Bottled it, lad. Absolutely bottled it. Right then, we go as we are. In fact, I'm going to try Leonardo in defence. Let's see how that gets on. 
you might have noticed that Cafu and Beckham not even getting onto the bench. That's how stacked the squad is. But there's no one that's like exciting me. Nobody that I fancy. We can't buy a win, can we? Van der Sar needs to worry up and get fit so we can get him back in the team. He's out with a broken jaw. Is it Khan letting us down here? Oh, God. Another defeat. We got a goal before our time. Back in the mix. Okay. Nil Lamptey. At trick. Are you kidding me? Before half time. Four nil before half time. What is going on? There's no way this team should be losing. <laughs> uh, Leonardo's coming off. In fact, I can't. I got no left backs. Have I? Right. How do we do this here? Right. So Leonardo comes off. We're gonna put Maldini to left back. That's not the only problem in the team, is it? Let's face it. Do we go with the 4 3 3, which tried and tested and proven that it works? Is this the way that we get back into the game? Keep it old school and go a little bit more direct. I mean, we're not going to score five, are we? I don't think. Come on. I mean, we have the players to do that, but we won't do that. How does a team with Batistuta, Ronaldo, Keane, Zidane, Maldini, Oliver Kahn, just slip to this sort of defeat? Nilled, it's looking like as well, isn't it? Nilled. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. 6 0. I got absolutely nothing. Nil Lamptey's just sort of a footballing lesson. Oh, we got a goal. Nice one. <laughs> I got no words for that. I got absolutely no words for that. Nil Lamptey. That's not even a good team. That wasn't even a good team back then. That's... <laughs> that was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> do you know what I need to do? I need to go and look at some of the formations that everybody else is playing and see where they are they are playing them so let's go and have a look let's have a look at the table see what Villa are playing just some sort of funky 4-4-2 alright let's have a look what Dirty Leeds are playing they're playing a direct 4-4-2 do you know what maybe we're, maybe we're trying to be too clever maybe I'm using too many modern formations too many modern ideas about how we should play. I mean, it's essentially a four-four-two, isn't it? But do I just do I just choose one of these and just say, just go like that? I mean, we should have the players to be able to pass a team to death, shouldn't we? All right, Leonardo's coming out. We're going back to De Boer. We're going with Keane and Zidane in midfield. And it, honestly, how is this not good enough? The stats on the players are good enough, aren't they? Let's face it. Zidane's never really played well for us, though, despite having been here quite a while. Simeone, he's not having a great season. He's never really lit it up for us in central midfield. Now, is that because he's not getting the goals and assists, or what? I mean, Boban, not really played him all that much, but he never, he never lit it up at all. What's my options in central midfield? Can I play Beckham? He gets a few more assists. I'm going to try Beckham at centre mid. 
I'm going to go with Cliver and Ronaldo up front. Oop, don't know where I'm going here now. This has to be, at some point, good enough, doesn't it? Oh, is it going to be a Coca-Cola Cup? Oh, we've got a Coca-Cola Cup game. <sighs> Let's bring Van der Sar back in. Do you know what? If everyone's fit, we're going for it. Yeah, we're having it. We need a bit of a, a confidence boost, don't we? So let's put Cambridge to the sword, I reckon. Because <laughs> let's face it, we should be able to beat Cambridge, shouldn't we? Or is that famous last words? Leg one. So I've got two legs of this shit. <sighs> well, at least we're winning. Ronaldo, good lad. There we go, 2-0. Let's give him a bit of a kick in. That's what we like to see. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Can we get four before half time? Ah. Oh. So, half time. Ronaldo smashing it. Van der Sar first game back. Maybe we can put it down to that. David Beckham's doing a decent number there in midfield, though. That's good to see. Giggs and Loudrop on nines. That's where we're finding um, the space, I, I reckon it probably is. One shot on target, one goal. Not good enough. Let's go for it now. Let's put another couple of goals behind them. And then let's go for it. I'll do one more league game, and then I'll probably play it to the end of the season and see where we come. But well, let's finish it on a high in the league and get back. Ronaldo hat trick. That's what I'd like to see. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take him off. Beautiful. 5 1. That's what you want. Game's over. I'm going to bring Ronaldo off. Oh, Beckham gets a goal. Oh, look at that. 6 1. You know, a chance to get a sub in. Four goals off Ronaldo. Perfect. I'm going to bring him off. Only got defenders on the bench. What a nugget. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring bring them over like that. Ronnie Johnson into midfield. Loves it in midfield. We'll go like that. Last half hour. Happy days. Four goals from Ronaldo. That's what we wanted. Turning it round. We knew he was going to slap him. Not going to read too much into it. Bit of a confidence booster. Getting used to the new formation. And let's hopefully we can do it at the weekend 7-1 Seven, 7-1 one. Seven, one regardless of who you're playing is a good result isn't it yes it was the strongest side but I'm not bothered and it might even end up 8 if anyone's got any stories of playing this version of Championship Manager then throw them on the Reddit group as well oh we get a red card at the end nightmare uh, I've started a subreddit, which is um, reddit slash r slash Housen. Um, if you've got any football manager stories, championship manager stories, bang them in there and let's have a look at them. Van der Sar on a three. He must have had two shots and they've both gone in. So yeah, be, share your stories. Uh, what was the first version of football manager or championship manager that you played? Did you play it all the way back from... Uh, from as early as this or was you from when it was called football manager onwards um, let us know let's get some discussion going and not just for this for everything for ideas for what I could do with the channel some video ideas stuff that you'd like to see me discuss as well um, anything that you find on the internet that you think's interesting throw it in there and I will take a look at it oh top of the league Middlesbrough this is a good test for us so right back Cafu not played in a while hopefully going to be up to it uh, everybody else hopefully is going to be fit yep everyone else is fit happy days any ideas that you've got anything like that just get into that subreddit uh, and let's get chatting in there because that's where it's for 
when people tweet me, they, I get a lot of tweets, so I lose anything that you send me on a tweet. Um, and the YouTube comments, they're really difficult to follow for any sort of length of time. So uh, I asked around, and people oh, Cafu gets injured. Bollocks. Oh, what do we do now? Cannavaro's going to have to fill in. Not ideal. Um, I asked you guys, and a couple of you said Facebook group. A few of you said uh, Reddit. Reddit was the most popular, so we went with the Reddit group. So come and join us in the Reddit group. There's just less than 100 in there at the moment, so let's get it over 100, uh, and let's get chatting in there because I like chatting to you guys. Some of you have got some awesome, really well-thought-out ideas. I think Reddit, the way you can write them in Reddit, suits it better than, like, replying to a tweet because sometimes people have got some awesome ideas and it, it don't feel right to just reply to it in five seconds with a tweet i'd rather sit down at the laptop and reply to it properly because that's what it deserves so please come and join us in the reddit group uh, and just talk about whatever the fuck you want in all honesty um and i, I check it three four times a day um and try and reply to everything that i can yes ronaldo this is what we want so this is going to be a tough game anyway so three points here is all I'm looking for. Finish this on a high. Hopefully. <laughs> We're not there yet. Why is this taking so long? There we go. Was that Ravenelli? Is Ravenelli still there at Middlesbrough? Last 20. Last 15. Yes, 2-0. That's what I'm talking about. I think we might have found our formation. If we can get the best out of original Ronaldo, that's going to bring the best out in the team, isn't it? Anything that suits him, this looks like it's suiting him. Six goals in two games. Not asked about the opposition. He scored six goals in two games. That will do for me. Uh, another 10 for him. Maldini gets a 10. That's interesting. Beckham gets an 8. So that's uh, an 8 and a 7 for Beckham in his last couple of games. That's good. That shows me that maybe that guy's the right choice in central midfield. I like it. Everyone in the team performing quite well. Um, we didn't really dominate in terms of goals or possession, really. Uh, shots on target. So, um, very tight game, but I'm not asked. We are moving up the table. That's the only thing I am bothered about. So, um, good one to finish on. Let's have a quick check of the league table. See where that leaves us. Doesn't really matter. We're only like six games in or so, but uh, seventh game in. 13 points. We're within touching distance. Everybody's lost. So we are within touching distance of the top. That will do for me. Uh, hopefully we can start turning it around now. If you look at that, Aston Villa just absolutely banging the goals in, aren't they? Let's have a look at who is doing all the scoring for them so far. Kerchich with 11, 11 assists in six games. That's absolutely outrageous. Uh, Haman's got set, uh, nine. Dwight York's on seven in seven. These are just banging the goals in, aren't they? How are they playing? They're playing that funky formation, aren't they? I'm going to stick with our 4 4 2 that we've got at the moment. Do you know what? Should we do another game? Let's see what we've got. If it's a Carling Cup, it can sling it. Nope, it's Everton. So that, that's a hell of a test. Um, all right, yeah, let's have it. Let's go for Everton. One more game. See how we get in the mix. So uh, I need a right back, don't I? Who can we play at right back? Panucci is going to be out for only a week. He might be back. If it's not him, I don't know who it's going to be. A bit short on right backs. So at the moment it looks like it's going to be Canavaro. And let's put Zidane on the bench. But yeah, pretty happy with this formation, this lineup so far. So let's advance it, see how it goes. Batty Stewart is still there as the impact sub if we need him. Cliver and Ronaldo up front. I mean, this team, can you imagine? This is like a Harlem Globetrotter 11, isn't it? I mean, if you think of the who's who's of late 90s, early 2000s football and go through it. Van der Sar, Oliver Kahn, Cannavaro, Maldini, Panucci. I mean, United fans have got a special place for Ronnie Johnson. He was a hell of a footballer. Roy Keane, Zidane, Simeone. That's that's some midfield. And then obviously the strike force. Batty Stewart, Ronaldo, Cliver, Giggs and Loudrup. Unbelievable. All right, let's have it. Let's, let's go take Everton out and move it on up in the title. Okay, that all looks good. Let's see if everyone's fit. Oh, wrong one. 
Is everyone fit? Everybody's fit. Let's just go have them. Let's go have them. Let's have it. Come on. Uh, Branch absolutely smashing the goals in. That was one that the game got wrong, wasn't it? Oh, come on. Watch it be Branch. Oh, Hughes. We seem to be under the cosh here just quite a bit, actually. All I'm seeing is Everton, 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 Everton. We need a breakaway. Half time. No one's really getting a foothold in the game. I mean, it says it's 50-50, but look at the shots. We've had no shots. That tells you everything you need to know. Do I go direct? I think we might have to. If I give it five minutes and I might switch it up to go direct. Instead of passing. Oh, we've had a shot. Yes, come on, United. Ronaldo, that's what I like to see. Don't like to see that, though. Elbowed him in the face and only gets a yellow. The ref's seen it. And done nothing about it. That's 90s football for you. Right, it took Branch off. Ooh, stick or twist, stick or twist. I'm going to twist on Ronaldo. I'm going to go direct. I'm going to bring in Simeone. I'm going to bring the two Argies on. And we're going to go for it. Last 20 minutes. Come on! Batistuta from the bench. Come on! Can we hold on? Last 10. And we've done it. That's what we'll do. We'll end it on that. Absolutely mint. Ian Hughes gets man of the match. I mean, you look at this. The team's not even amazing, is it? Line that up. Player for player. It shouldn't even be a contest. They had double the shots that we did. We, we did well. We've done a number on them there. That's mint. Let's see where that leaves us in the table. And then we will end it on that, I think. That's moved us up to fourth. Two points off the top. That'll do for me. That will do for me. That's great. Coventry there, smashing the goals in. Obviously, a lot of them was against us. So, uh, thank you for watching. A little bit of a short update there on the Championship Manager game. As I said, loads of um, retro games coming out very, very, very soon. I might just do as many as I can in a couple of days and then stack them up for re uh, release um, over a, a series of weeks. Uh, FIFA comes out this week, so I'm hoping to get a copy of FIFA and uh, we'll give you a first look at what's going on with the new FIFA game and all the different gameplay modes and we'll figure out which ones are going to make the best video series. So look out for that one coming out. Football Manager's coming out as well soon, so there's going to be shitloads of gaming content, which is why I've been chilling a little bit this week without uh, uploading too much because I know that all these games are about to launch. Uh, with, there's going to be absolutely tons of content so thank you for watching if you're new here please subscribe um, it's not just games it's it's all sorts of reviews and opinion and all sorts of shit the, the Thursday night podcast this week will be Friday night excuse me um, because of United's game so please tune in on Friday and if you can't tune in on Friday it's available on iTunes it's available on Audio Boom. I think you can get that up on Android um, so that's it, keep it locked to the channel Come and find us on Reddit, come and have a discussion with us on Reddit The schedule for the weekly uploads is on there as well So check that out if you want to And uh, thanks for coming See you in a bit Subscribe